Hello and welcome back to another video. Here we are going to discuss the probability and statistics one paper from October November 2020. It is 9709 paper 5 now. So let's start with the question number one. Here is the first question. Two ordinary face di fair dice, one red and another blue are thrown. Even A is the score on the red die is divisible by 3. So only possibility would be 3 and 6. And B, even B is the sum of two scores is at least 9. So it can be more than or equal to 9. So 9, 10, 11 and at most it can be 12 because the maximum value it can take 6 and 6. So find the probability of A intersection B. First of all we will write what is A intersection B in this case. It means the red die will uh, show the 3 or 6 and the blue die we can take the value so that it would be always 9 to 12. So for 3 it can be only 6. For the 6 it can take 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5 and the last one 6, 6. So the probability from here we can calculate. It is number of favorable cases 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 upon total is 6 into 6 36 so the probability of a intersection b is 5 over 36 let's do the b part of it so here's the b part hence determine whether or not the events a and b are independent so we will prove by solving if a intersection b probability is equal to probability of a into probability of b if they are going to be same it means they they are independent otherwise they are not independent first of all we will find the probability of a and b because we have the probability of a intersection b from the first part which is 5 over 36 so in order to find the probability of a we will see the number of the prob uh, outcomes of a event it can take three there are two cases first one if red is three then and on blue it can take one then three two similarly for the another multiple of three that is six six one six two six three and the six four six five and the last six six so the probability from here we'll get the probability of a the total number of outcomes favorable outcomes is three six plus six twelve over total 36 it is one over three now for the b we know the sum should be more than or equal to nine so it can be three six and then four four five only then four six in the case of five five four then five five and five six for the case of six it can take six three 6, 4, 6, 5 and the last 6, 6. So the probability of B from here we'll get the total number of variable 2, 2, 2, 2 and 2, 10. So 10 over 36 and which we can write it as 5 over 18. Now we can see the probability of A intersection B is equal to 5 by 36 is not equal to 1 by 3 into 5 by 18 that's why a and b are not independent that's it independent i hope it is clear let's do the next question here's the question number two the probability that a student at a large music college plays in the band is 0.6 for a student who plays in the band the probability that she also sing in the choir is 0.3 for a student who does not play in the band the probability that she sings in the choir is x the probability that a randomly chosen student from the college does not sing in the choir is 0.58 find the value of x so does not sing we have two path for it from the band in the band and not singing or 
not in the band and not singing so we need to find this probability is given as 0.58 so we'll find the probability band a person a student is in the band the probability is 0.6 and in the band and not singing is going to be 1 minus 0.3 because in the band if uh, she is singing it is 0.3 so 0.7 or so it is plus not in the band is my 1 minus 0.6 that is 0.4 multiplied by not singing when she is not in the band it is going to be to be 1 minus x and this is the probability that any randomly chosen instrument has not sing in the choir it is going to be 0.58 given so we'll calculate 6 7 j 42 so it is 0.42 plus 0.40 and minus 0.40 x is equal to 0.58 so we'll add this 0.82 minus 0.58 is equal to 0. 40x or we got 82 minus 58 4 and 7 minus 5 2 0 0.24 upon 0 0.40 is equal to x 6 4 is a 24 6 oh no 5 6 uh, 4 6 is a 24 and 4 10 ja. and that's why we can we could have taken the help of 8 you can see it is 8 3 is a 24 8 5 is a 40 so x is 3 over 5 3 over 5 or we can write 6 5 is a 30 so 0 0.6 this is the value of x let's do the second part of it two students from the college are chosen at random find the probability that the that both students play in the band and both sing in the choir so it means the first one and the second one the first a uh, randomly chosen student should be in the band be in the band and singing and not in the band oh sorry for and the second one again in the band and singing so the probability for band being in the band is 0.6 and singing is 0. Point, uh, it was given 0. 0.3 in the same thing in the same way again 0. 0.6 into 0. 0.3 so altogether it becomes 6 3 is 18 so what 0. 0.18 into 6 3 is 18 0. 0.18 18 18 square so 324 so it would be four decimal so 0. 0.032 Four. that's the probability I hope it is clear let's do the next question so here is the question number three Kyla is competing in a throwing event a throw is counted as a success if the distance achieved greater than 30 meters the probability that Kyla will achieve a success on any throw is 0 0.25 find the probability that Kyla takes more than six throws to achieve a success so we are focusing on the first success it is a bind it is geometric and the probability of success it is given as we'll take geo it is geometric with success probability p as 0 0.25 it means p is 0 0.25 or we can say q is equal to failure probability 0 0.75 and we need to find the probability that it takes more than six throws to get the first success it means we can say that the first six success were failure it means it is going to be q raised to the power six or 0 0.75 raised to the power six and this value is 0 0.177978 and so on so till three significant figure we can write it as one seven eight zero point one seven eight is the probability that it will take more than six throws to achieve a success and here's the b part find the probability that for a random sample of 10 throws kyla achieves at least three success 
so if you are talking about 10th rows and out of 10 we are focusing on 3 it is going to be binomial and success probability would be same that is 0 0.25 and hence the failure probability would be 0 0.75 so it become binomials we will write like that b and p n is 10 and p is 0 0.25 the probability we want to find that is going to be at least 3 means x is greater than or equal to 3 means we can find it by 1 minus probability of x is less than 3 means 0 1 2 so it become 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 and plus probability of x is equal to 2 so by binomial distribution we'll use this it has 10 c 0 0 0.25 to the power 0 and 0 0.75 to the power 10 similarly for probability of x is equal to 1 10 c 1 success to the power 1 and failure to the power 9 plus 10 c2 success to the power 2 and failure to the power 8 and now we will calculate this without simplifying it so that we can have this values and then we'll add it and this first value is 0 0.0563 and so on i'll write till four decimal places only plus the second value 0 0.18771 and all so again till four decimal place and the last value is 0 0.28156 and so on so let's six this is equal to one minus sum of all which is 0 0.5 two five five six and this would be zero point four seven four four so I like till three significant figure that is zero point four seven four so let's discuss the next question now here's the question number four the random variable x takes each of the values one two three four with probability one fourth two independent values of x are chosen at random if the two values of x are same the random variable y takes that value otherwise the value of y is larger value of x minus the smaller value of x draw up the probability distribution table for y so for y what would be the possibility for y the first possibility would be 1 and it is only possible if you if if on the two independent values of x we have 1 1 or the difference in subtraction is should be 1 so it can be 1 2 or at the same time 2 1 and here it is going to be 2 3 and then 3 2 of course and the last two pairs 3 4 and 4 3 in these cases we can get 1 similarly for 2 we can get 2 if we get 2 on both because this if two values of x are same this is that is the value of y otherwise it can be 1 3 then it is 3 1 2 4 then it is 4 2 as well nothing else no other pair now for the third one that is 3 the possibility would be more both would be 3 or it can be 1 4 and then of course 4 1 the last one is going to be for 4 it can be 4 only on only if on both the uh, only if the two values both the values are 4 so we will draw the distribution table now here so here we will write y and here we'll write the probability of that value y so for one we can see it is two independent values and probability for each is one by four so one by four one by four is one by sixteen and same thing is for this also 
1 by 6, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. So it is going to be 1 by 16, 1 by 16 each and every value is going to be 1 by 16. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it becomes 7 by 16 for y is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. It is similarly going to be 5 by 16 and for 3 it is 3 by 16 and for 4 it is 1 by 16. We can cross check our answers also if the sum should if if the sum is not going to be one then it means it is not correct 7 plus 5 12 plus 3 15 plus 1 16 16 by 16 is 1 so it's correct so that's it let's do the b part here's the b part i have already copied the distribution table so that we can work this easily find the probability that y is equal to 2 given that y is even number so it means we are going to find the conditional probability y would be 2 given that y is even so it is going to be probability of y is equal to 2 and it means and means intersection so it is going to be y is equal to 2 intersection with the y is even upon the probability of getting even number so for 2 and intersection y is even only this is possible because there is 2 and it is even as well so in the numerator we will get 5 over 16 and for even number we have the possibility for 2 and 4 and their probability is 5 by 16 and 1 by 16 so we will add them 5 by 16 plus 1 by 16 hence it becomes 5 over 16 over 6 over 16 these two got cancelled and we got this probability as 5 over 16 so that's it for this video we'll see in the next video the last few questions till then thank you so much